I'm from uh, County Armagh, Northern Ireland. So I grew up there, then went to study in Liverpool University and worked in the Curra for five or six years before I came out here as a vet. I grew up on my uncle's farm working with cattle and sheep and I just loved it and so that's sort of where the veterinary side came in and then it was only when I started working on warm blood studs while, just before I went to university that I started falling in love with the horse side of things and it started as a hobby and as I say some days I still class as a hobby until I look at the figures. I wanted to read resources, I love the industry, I love doing the meetings, I really like sort of looking into uh, the good resources and seeing what their pedigrees are like and then trying to figure out what works and I love trying to breed athletes. My hobby of, and the number of horses I got increased, so I didn't really have a choice. I had to sort of think of, to make it cost effective, I had to buy a farm. So I think Volkerspray to help understand was one of the first, but uh, at the moment we're up with over 30 broodmares on the farm, and then we've got a lot of clients now that board with us. We fold down 110 mares this year. Focus where I actually went to Alala Stud at the time to look at a different mare that they were selling and I didn't end up buying the mare that I went to look at but Volga Spray basically was in the paddock and just wouldn't leave me alone and she's a nice mare. I loved the style of her and when I looked into her pedigree I really liked her and so I purchased her. So yeah, look, I looked for like Stallion, obviously it was very early days and budget was important and Invincible stood out to me, so we went there uh, and never in my wildest dreams would I have thought, to be honest, that uh, it would have resulted in the Group 1 win in Hellbent, who's now, looks like he's the star of the future. Hellbent is burning grass, Hellbent charged up on the outside. And we sold him through the English Classic sale, through Dartbrook Down Thoroughbreds at the time and I think he sold for 95000 which was phenomenal money for a mare that cost $1,000. Volga Spray is a nanny here at the farm and uh, she'll live out her days and she loves the weanlings and loves her job. And look, she encouraged me that I, you know, it's everybody's dream to breed a group one winner and more by luck probably, but it, you know, it definitely got the fires burning and, you know, it got us excited about doing it again. The Capitalist Theatrical last year obviously was amazing. He topped the sale at Ingus. To be honest, it's still a bit of a blurb. I'm not sure I believe it happened. But you look back at it and you go, oh my goodness, it really did. I sell for 6.25. It was, a, it was a dream come true and it was life changing. I think the fact that it reinforced that what we're, you know, the people actually want to buy the horse that we're producing and that maybe I do know what I'm doing sometimes. And it's not all luck. And that, you know, we were able to grow the business and improve our mare band and do things that were 10 years down the line. Now we've been able to do some of them already. Mulgrass has got 13 going down for English Classic this year. It's the biggest draft that we've sent down. It'll be exciting for us. They're branded with our own brand for the first year. It's our first horses. They're branded with the Mulgrass MG. And also they're all homebred. We've no pin hooks this year. 527 is a capitalist coat out of a New Zealand bred mare, Elfie. She's by Ifraj. We bought her last year. This is her first foal. She is, she was group three placed. She's a really nice compact mare and I really love this colt. I think he is very precocious and he'll be up and going early. He's very compact, very much in the mold of his father at this time. I really like Invader. This horse got loads of scope. He's by a mare called Dorothea, who on self on raced, but she is by out of the family of La Baraka and Elise, obviously. So a really beautiful cold moves really well, and I'm excited to see how he's taken at the sales. The Extreme Choice, uh, it's a mitten that I really like. It doubles up on the really good mare singles bar uh, and with Rory's gesture as well. I think he looks quite like he's got a bit of Rory's gesture in him, but he also looks very much in the mold of his father, Extreme Choice. He's a nice horse and look, Extreme Choice can do no wrong. He's a 20% six winners to runner, so we're just very lucky to have one in the draft. So the Shalaya Sensibility is out of the Group 1 uh, placed Mare Sensibility by Redoots. I think it's a really nice mating. He looks like he'll get over a little bit of grind and more of a classic style horse. He's a later foal, but he's definitely caught up with the rest of the mob and I think he's a really nice horse. It makes me really proud to see the brand on our horses. It makes me really proud to drive through the gate with the brand on it. And I'm really excited about the future. I'm excited about breeding athletes that, you know, horses that hopefully will be received well at the sales, but more importantly, will do the job on the track.